Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa, and thank you for tuning into the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is a Domain Sherpa review titled Come Sail Away, featuring Josh, Jen, and Braden. On today's show, we play the domain game featuring Incredible.com, F-O-L-A.com, and Parasail.io. Then we've got the Name Jet and the Jet segment, sponsored by Name Jet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including GPT.com, if it actually makes it to auction, FreshFlowers.com, Night ride.com and pickle.org. We also talk about domain lease deals and then the strategy of acquiring alternate extensions of premium domains in your portfolio, something that Braden has talked about extensively on past shows. All that and more coming up now here on Domain Sherpa. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you could also watch the video version at domainsherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at ds.tv. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. And please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and all that good stuff where you can and help Domain Sherpa grow the pie. We also integrate our shows with Muse.ai, which provides new search functionality for the shows and transcripts as well. So definitely check all that out. And props to our sponsor, Dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. And special shout out to our own business, Media Options, the number one domain brokerage in the world, specializing in domain acquisition, sales, and appraisals. Find out more at MediaOptions.com, where you can also sign up for our newsletter for the best domain and best domain opportunities available in the market every week and also featuring key insights and other helpful information relating to branding, naming, and of course, domain investing. Last but not least, it's time to start getting ready for NamesCon in Austin in June. That's June 5th to June 8th to be specific. So go to namescon.com for details and to get registered. It's going to be a good time and we expect to see everybody there. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J. On, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, John Burgundy. I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review, where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples to learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. Man, we've been saying that forever. And uh, but it is what we do, and these are the experts. These are the OGs, and uh, with some special guests. I mean, they're always special guests. And uh, but I'm excited for today's show. The uh, there's four segments to the Domain Sherpa review. We've got the grand opening. That's where I'll intro the Sherpas, drop some AKAs, see what's going on with them, talk about some related things, maybe some unrelated things. Then we'll run the domain game where we hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses. We keep score and get some swag to the winner. Then we'll do Name Jet and a Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet, reviewing a list of domains coming up for auction on the platform to see what the Sherpas like and what they don't like. And last but not least, we'll wrap up with grand closing where we discuss anything we have not covered already. What's going on in the domain space? Looking at the market trends, current events, and allowing our guests to talk and promote about anything they haven't talked about already. And uh, yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. I got my home girl, Jen Sale, aka Aussie Osborne, aka Olivia Newton Jen, aka Rockadile Dundee, aka Dingo Star, aka The Wonder Woman from Down Under, aka Melbourne to be wild, aka Sipping on Jen and Juice, aka The Ever Queen. What's up? How you doing, Jen? What's going on? Oh, look, I'm just happy to be here with you beautiful people. Ah, yeah, you know, she means that. Also, I do mean it. And also, note, take a note, Jonathan, it is my birthday month. Forgot last year, you dragged me onto a phone call at 11 p.m. on my actual birthday for a work meeting and forgot. And I sat there for an hour and a half. That is true. I sat there for an hour and a half patiently going, you know, someone's going to remember it's my birthday today. No, no. No one. Um, no one remembered. Now you've got a lot of making up to do, brother. <laughs> a lot of making up oh, to do. Man. <laughs> First of all, I feel very, very badly about that, and I am sorry. But, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm not. not a great birthday guy. You know what I'm saying? Some people, and my wife will tell you, Liz will tell you, she's just like, you know, when it comes to these kind of things, I'm not about it for myself. So I have, I don't necessarily, you know, kind of get it together for everybody else. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm just saying it's kind of how things, you, guys, a little bit of help, please. 
You think this is know. helping you right now? I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, being transparent. You should just be like, sorry. You should be quiet. <laughs> that's, like, that's, <laughs> it's like, that was the that was what you should have said. I'm like, you should just <laughs> be silent. Well, anyway, listen, we won't make that mistake again this year. And uh, I appreciate you and happy birthday month and happy birthday in advance. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting yeah, he's older. Like you're getting better. Now. No, he's just like jumping in now because he's like, I'm going to forget the day. So I may as well just say happy I'm birthday now. now. Hey, you're not getting older. You're getting better. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. We're like, like I'm just happy. Fine be- wine, baby. <laughs> fine wine. Fine wine. Redwine.com. Whitewine.com. Shout out to Amar. Um, I think, right? Do he still have those? Are those still his? Does he? Sure. I think he does. Yeah. So anyway. You know what? We will confirm and we will get back to (laughs) y'all. Exactly. Let's keep it moving because this has not started well for me. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm otherwise feeling pretty good late. You're the host, man. You can just move on. I know. (laughs) You're the one lingering. Exactly. I'm like, I'm like just going to self, uh, what is the, uh, you know, like a a masochist anyway. All right. You know what? Enough of that. Down in my lower right, we got my boy Josh Reason, (laughs) AKA Bjorn Borg, AKA Prince Harry, AKA Harry Kane, AKA Slim Shady. AKA Mr. Pickle. What's up, man? How you living? Living great, man. Thank you. All right, man. You know, hey, for those of you who don't know, Josh just did a, an AMA with the ICA. That was uh, was really great, man. I actually learned some things about you that I didn't otherwise know. And I thought I knew everything there was to know about Josh. And uh, I thought that was a really great overall like AMA. I thought it was a really good uh, vibe. I thought it was extremely informative. I thought definitely helpful for new domainers. You know, I think you, and I don't know if it's because you're such a young guy, right? But you do have a way, I think, of really connecting with younger, newer domainers, folks that are relatively new in the space and uh, in an accessible way to kind of just, you know, really guide people and give them some, some, some real knowledge. So I think I appreciate you for that. So I've been, I've been doing the rounds, man. If you, if you, uh, if you want to go even deeper, which I don't advise, I, we went deeper yesterday with Brian on his podcast grit um how deep did you go i mean are you guys like i mean we we just went we went like start to finish basically so um (laughs) yeah well huge shout out to my boy brian my pickleball speaking of pickle and pickleball that's my pickleball partner right there and uh who for those of you who don't know lives very close to josh and i we uh we actually but we have to get together like as a crew you know what i'm saying like the the local domain folks that are now all here in this area we need to make a point to do some kind of a, a night out or something and uh make that happen yeah he's he's you know i i haven't really met him prior to yesterday but he i i felt like i got on pretty well with him oh yeah he's great peoples man and you know big shout out to michael law and like you know and grit they just you know they're they're obviously very good you know not as good as media options you know what i'm saying (laughs) or not as good as evergreen i mean what i'm just i'm i'm just saying you know i'm just trying to keep it real out here no but look brian's my homie Billy's gonna they be cutting just, a lot they of this. They just uh, put up some some pretty nice deals lately too. Oh, dude, story.com I yeah. saw, um, and uh, you know, there's a, a few others that they did. Dare.com they were talking about, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, no, no joke, man. Again, I got mad love and respect for Brian. That is my guy, and uh, again, we got to get. Um, you know, I see him in person. I see you in person. I, th- I feel like there's even a few more like domain folks that are kind of in and around here too. So. We all got to get together. Maybe play some pickleball together. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you can help school us so that when he and I have to rematch against Paul Nix and Alan Shiflet, you know, we get a proper revenge. You know what I'm saying? We won't let them okay. sneak out the back door, you know, on that little loophole that they use. Not that I'm still bitter about it. So, Not that anybody knows what you're talking about. No, we covered it on the show. Anybody who, I mean, you know, for the 10 people who watch and listen to the show, they're going to be like, Still, no, still I was so. I was on the show, Braden. He went on about it for like a, a good ten minutes. So yeah, yeah. Hey, but Bra- but Bra- people know to fast forward past JT's wine. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Well, hey, you were in the building, man. You were doing your thing, playing playing well. You and I played together. We beat Miller, and uh, I forget who Miller was partnered with, but we won that one. You know, so sure. still feeling pretty good about that. You know, is that that might have been the one where Miller ran into the net, and I thought he might have been down for the count. So it was. Uh, <laughs> It was uncomfortable, but, um, but Hey man, all is well that ends well. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it moving with that. 
Below me, we got my boy back in the building. It's been too long. Braden Pollock, a.k.a. Tony Stark, a.k.a. Benjamin Button, a.k.a. Eat Bray Love, a.k.a. Braden Statham, a.k.a. Braden Pollock, the Archduke of Calabasas, now the Vicant, the Viscount of Woodland Hills. It's not that your domain is worthless. It's just worth less, baby. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome back. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've just been busy, you know, not not getting invited on. <laughs> oh no, man, it's not like that. That's funny though. I like that's that's cool. Um, but yeah, man, what's up? What's happening? I saw you on on the AMA with Josh. You know, it was felt like we were all in the building together. And uh, yeah, and then you missed me. Just, yeah, man, right. that's what I'm and saying. Then, I'm like, and then Jen said, "Get your head out of your ass and invite him back." <laughs> She's like, "Who's gonna be on the show this week?" <laughs> you can invite Braden. I'm like, I can, you know, if that's what you want. If that's what Jen wants in her birthday month, then of course that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Happy so. birthday to me. <laughs> so funny. I mean, I do. I have a buddy of mine who like, he's a very birthday related dude. You know what I mean? And he's like a birthday month kind of guy. And like, um, you know, so if you miss his birthday, he definitely like takes it personal as well. But I mean, the fact that we brought you onto a work, call, a business call and didn't even mention it, that's, that's bad form. You know what I mean? I, uh, you know, that's just me not being great. I, that's what I should probably do. I should probably ask everybody that's going to come on the show. Hey, when's your birthday? Because I know when we had Shane on here for his birthday, we mentioned it. Not saying that that's, a that, that, you know, I'm not trying to compare things. I'm just saying this has been a rough show for me. I think it's because it's late. You're not doing well. You, know? you, you could late. just, you, you know, when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. <laughs> stop digging. All right. Well, hey. With that, listen, man, this is great. I appreciate everybody being here. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this all day. That's why I started drinking early, obviously. And are we uh, gonna play the the with that drinking? Day game? drinking. Wait. Are oh, you I day know. Drinking? There's, I've, there's been Wait, a bunch what? of with that. Anybody? <laughs> what's that? Are you day drinking? It's not what? day drinking here. It's like late our time. Oh, so. okay. That's like, why I said like, too, you know, with Drew not being around, like making his way back from vacation, you know, it was good to be able to coordinate with you, Jen, because the hardest part about trying to get you and Drew on the show together is a pain because of the, the whole time zone thing. It's like, that's like the yeah. toughest. And then if you're trying to yeah. bring in anybody from the West Coast, somebody's got to be doing a real, real late night. But um, yeah. so this works real well and I'm glad we're able to make it happen. It's been, uh, it's been a minute for a few of you guys. So with that drink up and uh let's get into the domain game you said you were going to bring a name for the domain game right uh, oh yes yeah you said it, it. did chachi i told you i would bring a name okay <laughs> okay yeah so well that goes out yeah obviously josh is not going to get that reference i don't think he's like happy days kind of happy <laughs> um, days like the like the tv show or something yeah that's that? it <laughs> it was a tv it was a tv back when there was this uh you know when, when you had to tune into network tv you know it was called yeah. cable you know back yeah. before From 1974 to 1984 oh gosh okay stop all right my <laughs> name <laughs> um it's a sale i brokered it um it's incredible so i'll spell it out for you Incredible. No. Incredible. <laughs> Just a single. I knew I'd, I knew I'd have to <laughs> I knew I'd have to spell this out. Um I N C R E D I B O L B O W L dot com. Oh incredible. 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 Yeah. incredible. That's how that's how we would say it here in the United States. We'd say it incredible. Okay, again. Accent joke, cool. Moving on. That's the name. <laughs> and what did you do? You you brokered it outbound or inbound? Acquisition? Um it was an inbound inquir inbound inquiry. Yeah. Sale. Sale. Okay. Okay. Some kind of, the first thing that comes up is like some kind of weed smoking device called an incredible. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Well, That's I just, I always bad. felt like it, well, I thought it would be related to like Super Bowl and like sports. That was the first thing that I thought of when I had I that. Thought a, I thought of bowling. Ooh, okay. That's sure. also good. Yeah. I would think it could also be like a, uh, you know, like a made for TV type product, like the Incredible. It's some kind of like a Tupperware style thing that can be used for multiple things. So um, it was an acquisition, right? No, a sale. 
Oh, oh from right. from your portfolio? From the um Evergreen portfolio? Uh or from Adams? like a portfolio yeah, from a portfolio. We represent. Okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um all right. Let's see. So all right. All right. Ready, set, flip. Ooh, okay. We got a pretty decent spread here. So Braden's at 1,250. I'm at 6,500. No, no, and Josh no, is at 12,000. No, no, no. no. It's 12, it's, oh, okay. It's, oh, sorry. that is cheating. That, <laughs> oh, no, no. That's what is. Nice. <laughs> that is like, I'll just <laughs> add a zero. <laughs> All right. So I'm at 6,000. <laughs> Josh is at 12,000. Braden's actually at 12,500. So. Okay. Um, I was like you. You said one thousand two, and I'm like, wait, what are you, you talking? Oh. Just quickly flipping yeah. over on my put your readers my, on. Unreal. All right, Jen. I always love to be underestimated so that I can surprise people. Okay. Like, so that one I sold it for twenty five thousand. Jesus, wow, that's man. incredible. That is so incredible. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Braden. Well Uh-oh. played. I mean, was it well played or did he see my number and be like, I'll take the over? No, 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 no. Well, no, I meant like, I meant the pun. The pun was well. I always appreciate a good pun. And I thought that was well played. The uh, the gamesmanship there was a little questionable. I don't know. You know, like, okay, hold, hold on. Do you think Jen's going to broker anything for $1,200? No, I, I agree. <laughs> I mean, I think that's. I mean, come on. So I just figured maybe it would came in inbound, you know, and. You know, a little back and forth, and settled in somewhere. He does know, it. sub ten grand. Jen, have you ever but, sold anything for that level? For what? For twelve hundred? Yeah. No, have you ever- I was oh. saying twelve. I was saying more like my number, like sixty five hundred. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it, it. It. Well, yeah. If it's just like a a buy it now, and they click through, and <laughs> I don't have to actually interact with them. I'm actually, do anything, oh. <laughs> right? I don't have to interact with the peasants. I, they just buy the name, and then that's it. And the money hits the account, and I don't even have to transfer it. It just all happens automatically. <laughs> then yes, yeah. If it's an um, autom- if it's an automatic buy it now lander, like then it's pretty much just clicking a few different boxes. But I think as soon as you have to start like investing time into these things and depending on where you are at in your journey, your career or whatever, for me, something like that, I don't, yeah, I don't, I, the, the return on investment is just not Yeah, no, and I think that's a fair point. Well, and that's also why it's important if you've got a big portfolio, you know, you have it priced properly so that you don't have to, you know, everything isn't a manual thing and you can still move names. It's different for it's different for brokers versus investors because a broker is going to earn anywhere between, you know, that five to well, some brokers are charging up to twenty five percent, not us, but um, but still like you have to like assess like what time is involved in getting one of those things closed and a hundred percent. Well, and you know yeah, what we've yeah. also found too, it's like the, um, you know, the small deals really a lot, oftentimes can take just as much effort as the big deals, you know? So you could yeah. be selling a name for five grand and not that we do that either. Right. I mean, but let's say we're dealing with like a 10, $25,000 name, you know, it could involve the same amount of effort as a million dollar domain. So yeah. you know, sometimes, sometimes more, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, deals more. sometimes take a lot of effort. Well, yeah, it's funny because you do, you deal with people who are the, you know, if that's an important name for them and, you know, they're, you know, it's, it's, there's, everything's a process. You're, they're trying to negotiate the brokerage agreement and everything and all this stuff. And uh, although we don't take names, the same kind of deal, but we might take a couple of names where somebody has a really good name and then they've got a few others. So we say, okay, we can take the lot and see if we can, you know, whatever, whatever. But you deal with a big dog like Braden, you know, do a million dollar deal, like without even blinking, it's just, bam, it's just what he do. So, <laughs> the Viscount of Woodland Hills, you know, so it's how he operates with all that cash behind him. So, all right, well, and and speaking of which, the Viscount has the first point, so that was good work. Um, what about you, Josh? You got to buy, you got to sell. You're up next. Yeah, I've got I've got a cool buy in the works right now, but it's not done because the owner is very very annoying. Um, so I've got another buy. I mentioned it the other day in Discord. Braden might have seen it. I'm not sure. Um, I'll tell you if I have. Did you see Fola? F O L A. F O L A. F O L A. No, no. We did that one then. All right, it's a buy. 
That's a buy. All right, we got f o l a dot com, and it's a purchase. Um, yep. All right, I'm ready when you are, Jen. You got uh, Braden. You ready? Yeah. All right, flip it. Oof. All right. So Jen is one thousand one hundred and one dollars. Braden's at twenty five hundred, unless you meant twenty five thousand. And then <laughs> I am, and I'm twelve thousand five hundred. So um, JT is closest. It was seventy five hundred. Oof. Seventy five hundred. Mm-hmm. Braden, what did Why you, you have? spend so much on that? Wait, Braden, what did you put? It's like. Twenty five hundred. Uh, it's just that's like that's what their liquid value is, and I like that one. Good. Yeah, I had good, it like it felt yeah. like I was doing advanced math to try to confirm that I actually got the point on that one. But um, yeah, I mean, Wait, look, what, it's a four. What, what was yours? Twelve five. I had. I had twelve five. You had twenty five hundred, right? Yeah. So yeah, you, you're you're four. And what did you have? And what did you sell it for? Or what'd you buy it for, Josh? 7500 yeah i mean you basically like a, a cvcv Isn't with good in the middle you can't really get that yeah much lower okay cool you get half a point each all they care about right now josh is not your story or how it happened they both just care do i get a point do i get half a point whatever yeah. Yeah. yeah i don't even know why you're talking right now we're trying to figure yeah, out we're <laughs> yeah, exactly. dead in the middle Right? I think we do. We yeah. got to split the point. We have to split so the point. So annoying. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Mine's let me just, bigger. Let me just, let me just prep. I'm sorry, Josh. You, know, you, both, for you, both, no you both suck. So. You both but, suck. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I think for the, uh, for that name, that I think that's not bad. Val- I mean, that's not a bad price to have to pay. I mean, you're going to sell that name for a lot more in my opinion. So. No, it's good. I, I, bought a few of those recently i bought poro.com just like good cvcv letters that make good brands and like mm-hmm. if you can buy them between five and ten with good letters that, at the moment that's a pretty good price because like at auction they're going for over 10 so and how long do you expect to hold it until you sell it and uh-huh. what kind of return are you trying to get i don't know probably never sell it i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean i would like to get i would like to get like 60 70k plus okay uh within five years okay yeah yeah and i mean we talk about it all the time on the show but i think that you know people always underestimate how long you might be sitting on a name you know i saw some people recently tweeting maybe it was like tony uh tony names or whatever like you know just talking about sell-through rate right and like how if you know you really get up to a five percent sell-through rate or something like you'd literally be you know the most successful domainer ever right it's just yeah but it also people. depends on your portfolio, really. Sure. So, like, you, yeah. So, like, if you've got like a such a high end portfolio, you're not going to. It, it's not going to be a quantity of sales. Like, that's that's yeah. not it. Yep, I think that's a great point as well. Yeah, and not all names are created equal. You know, each name is like a snowflake and all that stuff. And it's not that your domain is worthless, but some are worth less. And uh, you know, depending on where you have them priced, and if you're trying the Rick Schwartz model of like, hey, I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> keep saying no until you know it hurts kind of thing then you know it's at the price that you want you're sitting on names for a long time so like i mean Bra- Braden has a pretty like you know a high quality portfolio but even he's got like a bunch of portfolio names that's going to bring down the str but if you look at someone like andy for example who just has like he always has just like 20 25 30 names but they're all just like most insane names ever that guy's that guy's selling at like 90 percent str a year that's a fair point yeah um but he also doesn't sell that many names right because he's got such a small portfolio but when he sells yeah, yeah but he doesn't need to yeah because when he does sell a name he's selling it like for like In 10 to 100 x like it's yeah. it's insane like he i mean Say what you will about him, whether you love him, whether you don't like him or you don't like his model or whatever he's like his messaging is or whatever. That guy is smashing it. Um, like I, I see it. Like I actually, like, you know, his his margins are not are not that big, but they're all big names. 
Well, he's not a domain name either. So, so he, so you know, he he might sell a name for like a million two, but he's he he paid five hundred thousand dollars for it. You know, so it so he doesn't have a huge spread, but it's like he just made. Seven hundred thousand dollars. So how many? Okay, so that, that's yeah, but that's that's talking about then. Okay, right. Okay, so if we're talking about multiples, yeah, okay, that could be an argument. But then it's kind of like cool. But if your model is to buy a name for five k and sell it for ten k, he just plays in a different playground to most people because yeah. he, he's he's making up the margin with dollars, right? Yeah. So he'll still make a couple million bucks, but he'll only sell. You know, a few names. Yeah, right. I like so, that model. I, I, that, I, I'd sleep well at I'm night in, if I'm that in was Andy's my model. model. <laughs> Big shout out to Andy Booth, and um, you know who was on the show, uh, you know, a few months ago, part of that whole .dot AI. Uh, you know, dot com discussion. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that he's always done a fantastic job, he just has a great eye for domains and also has a great um, sort of, uh, you know, method and just way of obtaining names that were difficult to find or you know, locate the owners and, and obtain them. And, you know, they've done some, him and James have done some incredible stuff with that and really helped build, you know, the foundation of a lot of what they're doing based on that. So, I mean, James, again, I'm seeing him do some awesome um, flips, you know, just seeing a few different things that he's doing. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, credit, credit where credit's due. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, with it's those funny because you, you mentioned it like you're like, well, you know, regardless of how you feel about Andy, you know, like as if there's sort of like there's the, like no, because no, there's no, like no. a negative not, baseline not this, or something. Not on this panel. I'm just talking about like he has a lot of people that come for him on social media debating about what his like business model is and what his strategy is and things like that. Like, on, he, he really doesn't need to explain himself. I mean, he's he's doing okay. Um, so that that's what I meant by that. Like, I do see there's like a lot of like comments in social there's media, a lot of hate at the top. questioning, and there's a lot of hate as well from people who 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 come at him. So, I mean, I love Andy. So yeah, I'm biased. I'll put it out there. Like, I've known him for as long as I've known JT, Braden, Josh, and I a little bit like less, but I've known Andy from day dot of being in this industry and he is he's a, he's just a great person to look to for trends and things like that and what he's doing, like whether or not you can kind of like see what his ideas are right now. I just think yeah. that, you know, it's just good to watch people like creative people like that who are pushing boundaries and trying different things. I mean, that's what this industry needs. That's what we need. Like it's such a stale old industry. We but, need yeah. people like him like questioning things and like trying different things. Anyway, that's my rant. Mm -hmm. Rant.com by the way, available on evergreen.com. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, nice. I love everything about that. And uh no, but hey, look, success speaks for itself. I find it funny that there are just haters in general for that kind of stuff, you know. And I think it's just Success will breed the tension that will breed jealousy, that will breed hate. And it's not it's just, just success you know. as well. It's like change and it's something that's different. People fear things that are outside of their comfort zone. But as entrepreneurs and people in this space, in the domain investing and brokering space, that's what we do. It's yeah. all about being uncomfortable and we're all high risk takers. And uh, Josh, you actually put some. Did you put something out there about like there was a tweet about taking risk or there was something yeah. lately? Yeah, I certainly, that you take, I certainly take. I certainly take risk all the time. I'm a, I'm a big. Well, he risk said guy. it. You know what it was? He actually said. <laughs> you said it on the AMA. You said that you know you have a predisposition taking risk. You know, and some of like your you know your investments and things. You know, kind of you know are a, a byproduct of that or further just you know whatever like you know driven by that and uh, i think a lot of us in general i mean to kind of be at the cutting edge of things i mean domains have now become a bit old hat in general but the space that we're in is still the kind of thing that it's very niche but it is very you know sort of unique and interesting to people who don't even realize that it's a thing you know when i tell people what i do and they're like wait what like wait oh so you're an it you know like it's like well yeah. no not exactly but you know it's still kind of new and fresh to people and when you then go I thought beyond, you were a rapper 
Well, yeah, I mean that too, you know. So I mean, funny, to, my to, neighbor... be, to be to be really good at domains, you need to be a smart, analytic, you know, up to date with things. But you have to you have to have a pretty high risk tolerance, essentially, as well. So, but yeah. but yes, and but uh, to your 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 thing, Braden, about the rapper thing, which is also funny, is like when I first met my new neighbors not too long ago. You know, uh, we have some friends in common, and we were having I was having a conversation with the the, the lady, the wife, and. Uh, she was like, oh, wait, you're a lawyer? She's like, oh, I thought you were a SoundCloud rapper based on what so-and-so told me. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, you know, I'm like, the whole rapper piece is interesting that that's what you heard. The fact that a SoundCloud rapper, which is like, you know, when I think of a SoundCloud rapper, it's like a little kid, you know, like a teenager and they're, you know, just trying to, you know, buy, you know, not even steal beats off the internet and, you know, post them for their friends. Um, if the, if but the I'm, shoe like, fits. I'm like, there's a lot of disrespect in there, but I can't say it's inaccurate. Or, or un- <laughs> you know. so anyway all good but yeah man look and i think just to close the loop on what we're talking about i mean look big shout out to andy and james and you know I, I, like i said their success speaks for itself i think the stuff they're doing in ai is pretty awesome uh the stuff they've done in domains is awesome and i think that you know it's going to be really really interesting to see how a lot of this stuff plays out for them and just generally in the space over these next couple of years because they're making big bets on some pretty interesting things and I think that I, for one, would not bet against them. So I think it's uh, yeah. all good. So that's what's up. So big shout out to them. Any more Any more compliments, though, and they're going to have to pay some sponsorship fees or something. You know what I'm saying? Like we have that's to legit. be like, hey, you should listen to the show. And, you know, because um, we spend 15 minutes singing your praises. So, but well-deserved. Anyway. All right. Let's keep it moving. Braden, I need a name from you. Let's close out the domain game and see who's <laughs> going to bring home the trophy. Okay. I, I think. Everything's been reported except my last sale, um, <clears throat> which was just uh, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Parasale.io. Okay. Parasale.io. So P A R A S A I L dot I O. Correct. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, let's see. And you sold it. Sold it. Trying to get this point right here. All right. Parasail.io. Josh is already showing his, and so I, I'm showing mine. Don't change it. Hey, JT, it. you're cheating. That is unreal. <laughs> I didn't cheat. I had I had the same you number. Went, you and you, you and Brett made an apart from the same cloth, man. Let me tell you. I didn't cheat. I wasn't doing that. I was doing us something else on my phone. Us in a I was texting. Yeah. I was texting somebody. <laughs> I wasn't. So, well, Brandon, right. what's... Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I got to tell the audience who are only listening. Uh, Josh has got 10000 Jen has $11,111, and I have $30,000. And the winner is... Jen. Oh, wow. Jen gets That's, the point. Wow, what did Jen... For $14,000, no commission... Uh, so I netted 14. Um, all right. Well, nice job. So, okay. So you sold it. So 14,000, which is pretty solid for a dot IO one word dot IO. It's decent. It's a little bit of a weird word. Actually, the only reason why I have it is because I own the dot com. Okay. So, yeah. You know, I like to be able to, I've talked about that before. You have. Uh, you have. So hopefully, uh, the buyer is going to want to uh, upgrade if, if he's successful, he's going to come back. So <clears throat> who knows? Yeah, real quick, real quick, because you have talked about this previously about why you buy names and alternate extensions on when you have like a one word dot com, you'll get the dot net. You've talked about because, you know, if you've got someone who comes in, they don't have the the budget or something. But Billy, listen, use the muse dot AI piece and see if you can pull up and how quickly you can find Braden talking about that exact topic, because I think it would be cool to link back to another show and use the Muse functionality in the process because I think that would be really neat. So let's do that. And uh, and I think that would be good to also share with the audience so they understand the strategy around why you do that because I think it's smart and obviously you've had success with it. Yeah, I have a question about this, Mr. Braden. Um, I'm wondering, <laughs> like, when you do a deal like this, like, have you ever thought about, like, selling also an option in the dot-com for the person, so it's almost like an option to reserve, like first, you know, Ooh, first kind of... refusal of offer, like type of thing. You know, I have I have sold options in the past, and and for those 
listening that don't know what an option is, is basically people uh, pay you uh, uh, a fixed amount, non-refundable, for the opportunity to buy the name at a set price within a set period of time. Yep. That's an option. So I have sold options before. Um, but in this case, and I think whenever somebody comes comes to me for a, a much less expensive name, they, they just can't they just can't afford it. You know, I mean, my the option would be probably more than fourteen thousand dollars for preparesell dot com. Yeah. Uh, so they're just they're just hoping that they're going to a do well and b be able to afford the name if and when the, the time is right. Yeah, I mean, which a is lot great of least- for you. Oh, sorry, JT, you go. Nope, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, which is great for you because essentially I explain this to some of my clients in that if you buy an alternative extension and you don't opt for the .com and you are an international business and that's where you're headed, like that you want to be the .com, you, what you're building right now, the marketing expenses that you're putting into these things, the investment, the time, everything, essentially you're you are raising the value of that dot com yeah. over time in 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 my experience so True. i like so i i love the idea of thinking about it if if there was some kind of model where these people who potentially like and so you'd have to do a lot of kyc to see like who their investors are like where they're at and 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 what the roadmap looks like business plans blah 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 but if if it made sense for you as well, like there could be like alternative, like creative um, models in there as well, like X amount to like have an option plus you get equity if it gets to a certain level. I don't know. Like I think there's like a lot of like creative things that we don't necessarily explore. And it's because we've been very blessed with the models that we've had in the infancy of the industry over the past 20 years where parking, easy. Now we're on to like sales and brokerage. Pretty much like inbound is is the game, you know, like outbound, like it's it's not an easy game, but um, I, I don't know. I think that there is going to come a time where people are going to have to get more creative. There's going to have to be like more things like collaboration and co-brokerage, which people hate in our space uh, from experience. Um, but, yeah, I think we need to start thinking out of the box. So that was just – there's some. that's my brain dump. <laughs> I no, think, I think there's, there's look, a I mean, lot I've of done, interesting stuff there. You know, I've done you know, just about every combination, you know, equity, equity plus cash, payment plans, yeah. leasing. Um, I think we're going to see more leasing um, as – you know, as high value names become more and more difficult and high priced, and a company really wants that name, but it's five million bucks, they don't have it, but they have, I don't know, five thousand dollars a month, and um, and there are there are portfolio owners now that would rather have the cash flow and not sell off the remaining inventory because they got their inventory way back in the early nineties. They're not still buying, so they just want to hold on to it and just yep. lease. No, I think that's you know, and it's interesting. The way we do a lot of our lease deals um, is, you know, really it's a, it's you're purchasing an option to buy the, the domain and then you're paying a monthly payment to effectively use the domain, right? It's not even so much a payment plan, you know, where you're paying towards the price of the name. You're really paying for the use and for the option to be able to buy it for some predetermined period of time, you know, and, and that way at least they have that opportunity to use it. And then they have the opportunity to buy it if their company is successful. Sort of this idea, and Drew's obviously talked about this, you know, at, at, at nauseum about, you know, giving, if you've got an idea and you've got a startup and you believe in your idea and maybe you have funding or, you know, you're, you're, you're working towards that and you're on that path, you know, this gives you enough time to realize that, you know, either realize the dream or it doesn't, it fails and doesn't work. And, you know, and then you can, you know, get into these, you know, Rick Schwartz talks about this and, um, and another, you know, so I think you're absolutely right. And I think we've definitely seen having to be more creative, just getting deals done and stuff in general. Um, I think also when you look at the way that we went from post-COVID when there was so much cash just flooding the market and, 
you know, everybody's buying everything and, and, and it was just, you know, kind of raining money, then it became a lot tighter. Right. And I, and then you have like Y Combinator and A16Z basically telling their port codes and their, the, you know, Hey, look, save your cash, do not spend it. Right. So then they've got to come up with ways to be able to still build and grow their business, but do it in a way that, you know, fits their cash flow model and, you know, leasing, payment plans, options, equity, all that kind of stuff really then becomes, you know, a much more appealing thing because it really, you know, we can put you in this domain today, you know, you can drive it off the lot and uh, all you got to do is put this much down and this much a month. And, uh, well, you know, I, what, you know, what I've discovered is there's a lot of these startups that don't want to take on the debt. So they will lease over financing so they don't have debt on their books. Yeah, that's also good. Yeah, that's important. Investors yeah. don't like to see like a startup that suddenly has like one point two yeah. million dollars of debt. Yep. Yeah, no, I've I've just I I just it's funny you said that I just did a deal, which gosh, I just wish I could talk about some of these things sometimes, but um, it's in like the low to mid six figures, but this particular startup didn't want their investors to think that they were like spending all this money on a domain name, which the founders found very valuable and for branding and things like that. So we had to creatively <laughs> spread that out over time so that worked for them. Um, but, yeah, I think that that's what we we need to start to be a little bit more fluid when it comes to these things. Um, but, I mean, also, I don't know about you guys, but, market is smashing it at the moment like I, I mean we're seeing some like real great activity but a lot of people wanting to do either the leasing or lease to own payment plans like creative deals yeah, yeah. and i think we would agree it's very active right now i mean we've uh it's funny like you know the year started like quickly with some stuff then it kind of got sort of slow and then things have just gotten pretty wild. You know, I don't know if it's this most recent run up with crypto and everything else. And, but it's definitely gotten very active pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all, all good. It's funny. We have like a bunch of deals that we had pending, like that I thought would close in Q, like that kind of, again, pipeline is very good deals that were like ready to close. You know, obviously when you're doing big deals, it's like, you know, they're, they're more spread out. We, uh, but all of a sudden it was like, we have all these deals right at the finish line, you know? And, uh, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. And, uh, but a lot Hi. that ended up pushing into this week, the holiday also was kind of funky. It felt like, you know, we had this like extended Easter thing this year, which seemed a little bit like banks maybe closed on Friday, good Friday or something, as opposed to Easter Monday. I don't know. So, but the only holiday that matters this month is Jen's birthday. That's all I know. And congratulations to Brayden for winning the domain game. The, uh, you Wait, know, the actually, other thing- hold, hold, before we move on, I, I didn't give you the, any background on that name. Oh, please do. <clears throat> uh, I bought it in uh, October of 22. Mm, so okay. I've, I've had it uh, a year and a half. No, less than that. And what year year and change. And it was, I paid. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. And Rich. No. Oh, really? no. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. And Reg, $33, one renewal, 66 bucks. So you were in for 100 out for $14,000. In, in for, in for 66 that oh, is I domain. Thought you said the in, renewal. That, okay. that yeah. is domain investing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, and you can do that too. All you have to do is, you know. Um, but wait, there's more. And uh, but that's the thing I think that's crazy because when people listen in or watch or you know see you speak in an event or you talk about some of these things, like those are the stories that do let people know what is cap- you know, what's possible in the space. But then you realize, like, you know, you want to be very clear on, on what it takes to be able to be in a position to make that kind of stuff happen, you know? Yes. And uh, yeah. there was a whole lot around that. And you talk about Josh, for example, saying, hey, I just spent, you know, $12,000 on a domain that I am, well, 7500 on a domain that I'm not going to sell for five years. So it's like tying up that kind of cash and, you know, hoping to get 10x or whatever. But Or maybe um, not. Maybe not. Like, is well, it? could it, happen yeah. tomorrow. So that, I mean, that's the, yeah, exactly. So that's. That is the risk 
like profile of this, you know, this industry and this profession. I think it it is super high risk. Like, well, um, and I think but in- when you are educated, when you're educated and you've got the experience behind you, and you've seen these things and how they work, like hearing from these guys and seeing what they're doing, I'm just kind of like, they get it. Like that they've learned, they know, they get it. But there are a lot of people that are within our industry, newer people who are still figuring out the landscape and how to navigate it. Um, but it does take time. It's like anything. It's like you're not you're not just going to rock up and be a like an expert in a particular field. Like yeah. it takes time and experience. Well, yeah, and I think you know, you'll hear it from Andrew or you know from Drew. You'll hear it from Josh. Like you know. You kind of pay for an education in domains based on the, you know, the, the the domains that you bought that were mistakes. And, you know, as you learned and figured out what an actual valuable domain was and you started to understand a little bit better about how to identify real value, you know. And this also goes back to what we were saying before about Andy and James and stuff is that, you know, their ability to identify, find and acquire really great domains you know, that have a ton of value and then obviously be able to turn around and sell those domains for a lot of money is, you know, a skill in itself. Right. And that doesn't happen overnight. You just can't like sort of walk into it. We've seen people come in with big, big budgets and real money and buying a ton of names and auctions and this, that, and the other. And even the folks that you see posting about their sales, you know, acting as if, you know, Hey, look, look how much money I'm making. You know, some of those folks, aren't even really making money, right? Because, you know, they're not necessarily buying well. And we say it on the show all the time. You make money on the buy, not even on the sale. So um, it's all, uh, yeah, it's a a process. It's a learning curve for sure. So, all right. Well, congratulations, Brayden, for making even more, becoming even more rich. Really happy for you. And um, I I mean that. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) You know, Anybody ever tell you you look like Adam Levine? You know what I mean? I might have to throw out a little Adam Levine on the on the AKs as well. You know what I'm saying? I see that. I see it. Oh. I see it. Yes. He's got a, a lot more tattoos than me. And uh, he's a lot Do you leaner. have tattoos? Wait. Do you have tattoos? No, I have zero. Okay. All right. So that's a zero. lot more. So I guess he's, he's all got one. Out. <laughs> you could totally do the tats, though, like, like you know, the fake tats and be him for Halloween. So... Yeah. Keep that in mind. You keep that, that in mind. You know, remember that, ha- that has been that has been suggested. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I dig it. I dig it. Well, hey, congratulations. New AKA, new win, back on the show, making your mark. Glad that glad that it's happening and uh and that we're here for it. So and uh, and big success on the sale. So, all right. Well, that's the domain game. And uh, I'll get you some more swag. That's the plan. And then let's slide into this name jack in a jet segment. What do you mean, dude? You have a couple hoodies already. I know, but uh, it's true. It's true, but I don't expect I think more. you even have the Mo hoodie. You have the astronaut hoodie, don't you? I do. I got the old school. I don't the have the astronaut. Wait. I don't have yeah. the astronaut hoodie. And I was a goddamn co-host. What the <laughs> hell You're is still going a on here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that he... He just got in at the right time. You know what I'm saying? He's like, it's like these meme coins. You know what I'm saying? He got in in the pre-sale. And uh, so that's how he was able to get a the- mug. I don't even have a mug. Oh, there you go. I can, that I can hook you up with. I don't even have a mug. All right. Here's the deal. The next time you come <laughs> to the States, whatever conference, if it's going to be NamesCon, which we'll mention at the, before the end of the show, um, you get a mug. We'll get you some other swag. We're going to have a full-on care package. You know what I mean? I'm going to owe a lot of people a lot of stuff when I see them in Austin. So. Are we going to, we should do another, another live one. Yes. Oh, in fact, yeah, that's actually a good reminder because we should pin down who's going to be on it. Uh, we'll do the live one. Um, and then, uh, cause we'll do the red zone in advance of the auction for sure. So, you know, we'll kind of do like a Sherpa panel. So if, um, Jen, if you're going to be there, that would be fantastic. Braden, uh, if you would like to be on it or if you were willing to be on it, that would be awesome. Uh, we'll see if Amar, Shane, like, you know, we'll definitely have the, uh, the, the squad. We'll, uh, Josh, what are you going to be doing at that time? Are you pickling? When is it? Um, June, I think. Um, names cons in June. I think now. Is it yeah, June? I'm going <clears throat> to be in the UK actually for the whole month of June. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Family sure. vacation for yeah, June 5th to the 8th. And we all messed up. Okay. I'm like, I actually have it in my notes because I'm going to mention it, but. June 5th to the 8th for NamesCon in Austin, I'm Texas. Out. I'm out on NamesCon forever yeah. until they move back to Vegas. 
Austin is pretty tough. You know, we had that whole thing yeah. last year where we really said, you know, we think that, you know, but at the same time, I think the industry, it's important to support the industry. And, uh, you know, and for us, it's like, you know, we're getting Drew to get there and, uh, you know, and, and all that good stuff. So, and it is a good opportunity. I mean, we had a great time in, uh, you know, in LA when we all got together. Um, yeah. had a great time in Vegas for the ICA event. I think that's fantastic. I'd like to see that continue to, to grow. They did some fantastic stuff there. That's where that infamous pickleball match happened where Harbin and I got kind of screwed, but, um, but I'm not harboring any kind of, uh, you know, any resentment or anything. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so Austin, I think still will be plenty of value because of the people. And, uh, and I do think NamesCon is doing a really good job of like, you know, kind of getting back somewhat to their roots and, you know, some of the content's going to be pretty cool. So we're going to be part of it. So how bad can it be? How's that for? We'll put that on the. Remember the DVDs that used to put the. You know this movie rocks. You know how bad? How bad is it going to (laughs) be? How bad can it be? (laughs) Yeah. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high-value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. Namejack and a Jet. This section sponsored by Namejet. We'll review a list of domains coming up for auction. Uh, go to the site at domainsherpa.com on the uh, the post for this particular episode. You can download the Excel sheet that's got the list of domains, the Estabot. Take those with a grain of salt. How many back orders as of the time that we record the show, the order by date, um, and uh, when the auction will effectively start as long as it has one more than one bid. All of these have multiple bids. Uh, along with some additional information. So, uh, you know, grab that. Hopefully it'll help. And uh, let's talk about the list and see what the Sherpas like and what they don't like. And uh, since, Jen, you let off the domain game, let's let Josh kick off the list. Good, um, good. And uh, <laughs> like, oh, to give me a second to actually look at it for the first time. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> Josh, what's good, man? What do you think? What do you think of the list? <clears throat> I have a name on here specifically for we, you. We know what he's going to pick. Yeah, I mean, there's a name that you, that's your name. Um, yeah, someone brought that up in a group that I was in the other day. Um, so pickle.org, I was actually actually was going to buy that last year from whoever okay. is not whoever is letting it expire by accident. Um, no. I think I, I think I offered like seven grand or something like that because I wanted to I wanted to develop it. Sure. Uh, yeah. So. I was thinking about it. I wanted to buy not not as an investment at all. So um, I'll probably, I guess I'll probably buy it because I'm going to be able to get it a lot cheaper. But I don't really want to develop it anymore, so I, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you were going to think of it like a you know sort of like a pickleball organization site type of thing, like just around. Yeah, I just I had a few that. had a few ideas um, that I'm no longer motivated with. So I don't really know. Maybe I'll buy it super cheap and I'll get motivated again. Um, there you go. But, I like it, man. That's uh, we all get motivation from different things in different places. I, I'd like that journey for you. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know, but I, I don't know. I, I guess I guess I'll bid on it and we'll see. Um, so, do I like it as a general investment? Yeah, actually, kind of. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, um, and I think, but I don't know. We'll see what price. I like it for as an investment at like under 2k um uh i so love that, i think it's I, I see that going to three to four but maybe you know maybe not yeah i don't know we'll see, we we'll shall see. see. um if you guys go to three to four you're taking it not me does this go to air before like that yeah. auction yeah. ends yes oh josh now everyone's gonna be like cool i'm gonna like bet like t- two thousand and one dollar. I know. Should we have Billy cut it? Should we have Billy? <laughs> no, cut no, it? no. I hope they do. Like you will get stuck with a bag instead of me. I saw. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I like it. Or a jar, as if you know. Yeah, yeah. you get stuck that's with a pickle. Uh, you get stuck in a pickle. Um, <clears throat> it works on multiple levels. All right, cool. What else? What else you like or don't like? Wait. So, like, what's up with with GPT? Is that like for for real? Is that gonna sell yeah. for like a million dollars or what? 
I mean, tell me it's not going to go like, I can't, here's the thing, right? The way this will work, the way that it works is this name is expired. It is in the renewal grace period, right? So technically, I would think people are probably hitting up whoever trying to get a hold of the owner. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Running the calculus of like, hey, you know, if I can just get them to wake up, renew it, and I'll buy it from them, hopefully. Or do you let it go to auction? You know, like, where's your head on that, right? No, like, because, but like, that, that name is, is like legit, like selling for hundreds of thousands at auction. It hundreds. has to, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's a 300. I mean, maybe not three. I mean, 250K, right? I mean, like, I don't think we've seen a name like that as hot as that could be expire for like ever. Like, can you think of a name that is? Like that, that's expired. We had a, yeah. So I remember when, uh, I think it was 358.com, you know, it was a three character, uh, that, that dropped in the drop, um, which was a pretty wild one that I remember from my name jet days. That was, uh, we actually didn't even end up getting it. It was, uh, you know, we were trying to get it in the drop at the time. Um, and, uh, so that one was, um, that might even have been before the snap names integration, but I remember that one being a pretty, pretty contested auction at the time on an expiring or dropping domain. Um, and then, uh, carrot. what's that carrot.com? Carrot. Yeah. What did that sell for? Do you remember? Um, there's a, there's a broker we all know and love that got a hold of the owner and, uh, like, you know, this is expiring. I think the guy had died or something and got all the wife and. <clears throat> and uh, they pulled it down, and then he sold it. Oh, Drew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, it was, I, did you say Drew? It wasn't Drew. No, it wasn't uh, Drew. It wasn't uh, Drew. But that, I still, I feel like this is this is almost different. Like just with everything that's going on in AI right now, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like that's going to sell for like five hundred k. I think I think we might see like an end user like like Chat GPT come in and pick it up. <clears throat> yeah, they'd have yeah. to get. Um, hold on, let me see something. Yeah, that's just like kind of blowing my mind. I didn't realize that was a that that was at auction. I feel like that's. I hope that that goes to auction. I hope that somebody doesn't come in and like figure out a way to get a hold of whoever's dropping. I mean, there's going to be so many people after after that right now. But I hope that it goes to auction because I think it would just be really interesting. I doubt it. I doubt yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know that it gets there either. I'm trying to run some stuff on name bio just to see kind of what it's too it's too big a name to make it all the way through. It's like yeah, uh, a lot of the names I'm seeing as far as like the big sales that were recognized on name bio for Namejet, almost everything I'm seeing was like a um uh you know, where the live auction stuff, you know. So Oh, it's it's already been renewed. It's already been renewed, right? Oh no, really? I pulled it today off the list. I think it has. It is there. We should we should keep moving. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. Um, oh no, order by date, April thirtieth. So we shall see. Let's keep an eye on it. But yeah, that one's crazy. Uh, what else you got, Josh? Um, real quick. Uh, I really like niceride.com. dot com. Um, just it's just cool. I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how great of an investment that type of name is, but I like it. Um, I mean, it's like a... the the list is actually really good. I love fresh flowers. Um, all just... right, wait. I think you don't. Let's. I think we got to move on though. You can't take all. You can't talk about all the names. You know what I'm saying? I, that's three. That's three names. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Jonathan. I think you're on four, by the way. You said pickle, you said GPT, you said fresh flowers and nice ride. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Josh, GPT, GPT Josh didn't Josh rarely count, talks, so can we just let Josh talk? Like, I just oh. want to hear Josh talk. Can Josh allowed. just talk? Not Josh, allowed. keep going. I, I mean, okay. I want Drew back. I want Drew back, honestly. There you and go. <laughs> now Jen just came in and just dropped the hammer. It's Jen's birthday month. Jen yeah. gets what she wants. Because. Well, I look after my youngest. So go to Joshua. Go. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm good now. Like I'm I'm I don't want to talk anymore. I'm sorry, JT. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> this is not great. This is not this like is the oldest list. brother. The oldest brother like got into him. Jeez. All right. Braden. What about you, Braden. dog? 
Um, I like uh, fresh flowers. That's not what I was going to talk about. Um, if you're buying that name in auction, what are you trying to pay for it? <clears throat> Two grand. Okay. Something like that. 2500 maybe. Um, I also like Espinosa. I'd have to look up how many people have the last name Espinosa, which is going to be a lot. Yeah, and then I know there's like some other spellings, right? Is there one with the S A as opposed to the Z A? <clears throat> I think Z is more common. Yeah, I'm looking it up. I, I do think the Z is the more common. But um, so but yeah, no, then, I think that's obviously a you know a popular last name and. So. Yeah, I, I like I like I like names. I've I've sold several. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's I mean, there's there's going to be you get the right price. You know, there's so many people with the last name Espinoza that love to have that as their email address. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um. That's what I like. I mean, it's a it's a good list. I think I think Home Fresh is a is a nice brand. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be all kinds of cleaning, you know, cleaning stuff or whatever. It's um, could be anything, really, anything related to home, right? Painting company, whatever. Yeah, and the fresh also somehow for me feels like it could also be food related, you know, that kind of thing, and. You know, meal service, delivery service, you know, some kind of thing like that. or But it could also be home cleaning, you know, like a home cleaning service, like that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Like, there's definitely a lot, I think, that, that flows into that. So, cool. Anything you don't like? Um, I think wildfires is going to be hard to monetize. I mean, unless it's one of those, like, private um, fire departments or... Um, there's companies that, that come out and, and, um, kind of fireproof your property. Yeah. But even mm-hmm. that, I feel like wildfires is a pretty tough brand to operate under, you know, so, like you want to fireproof your house, like go to wildfires.com. I don't know. It seems very like, yeah, not, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. I mean, it's, and it's got this really high S about appraisal based on just off searches and things, but search volume and stuff, but yeah, but that's, those aren't commercial searches. I mean, that's what people, oh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I, I agree. You're right. It's not the commercial application is a stretch here. So unless there's wildfire.com would be better, you know, but this plural on this one makes it very like, you know, kind of negative yeah. and, you know, and then not very useful commercially. So all right, cool. All right, Jen. So it's on you. Any names that haven't been mentioned that you like, that you don't like, names that have been mentioned that you want to talk about, what you think? Really? Like, I, yeah, I love fresh flowers as well. Like, um, I think that's a really nice name. Um, I agree with you exactly what you said. Wildfires. I wish it was the singular because. As a brand, it's a way wildfire better. Wildfire as, as a brand sing- could be pretty yeah, cool. You know? As the singular, like there's so much flexibility in it. Um, but that almost always applies, right? Well, singular is a right. brand, plural is a product. Yeah. Right. And unless you're selling wildfires, you know, so. Yeah. Burn down your, your enemy neighbor's house or somebody, someone in your neighborhood you don't like. Call wildfires.com. We'll take care of it. Oh, for gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to come we up with them. <laughs> we don't want to do that. It's like Shark Tank. It's like, hey, um, Mark, you want to burn down <laughs> Mr. Fantastic's house or whatever that guy's name is? <laughs> probably does. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's – they were the couple that stood out for me. Um, it's not a bad list. Nice ride. Yeah, again, I like that because we sold your ride for a pretty decent price back in the day. Um, and Home Fresh, again, I, I'm on the same page as you. Like, yeah, we're all kind of thinking the same things, like Home Fresh. Like I'm thinking, I, I'm sure there is like a, I think there's a brand actually in Australia that's very close to that name that is um, fresh food delivery, like um, pre-prepared food um, things. Yeah, they and and yeah, GPT. I, I don't know. Like yeah, that one was kind of like an outlier for me. I was like, is that real? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Is well, that I mean, going to go to auction? I don't know. Yeah. But we'll um, see. 
We shall see. One hundred percent. So, all right, cool. Well, everybody, get to the uh, you know, go to the site, grab the list, check it out. Otherwise, just good luck in the auctions and uh, try not to compete against us too hard for any names we might be trying to get. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so that's that. Not financial advice and all that good stuff. But um, all right, well, we are at grand closing, and um, I know it's getting a little bit late for some of us, but um, let's go around the horn and just kind of see what else is going on with everybody. So. Uh, Braden, since you haven't been on in a minute, what do you, what's going on? What's up in your world, man? What's happening? Um, <clears throat> you know, on a, on a personal note, you know, I uh, split from my wife last year. So anybody that's going to see me in Austin, I'm not married anymore. So don't say, it's Lisa here? She's not. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, you did. No, you did. No, I, I, I do noticed. have a new. Sure. I do have a new girlfriend now, so that's been nice. Well, congratulations, man. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Um, She's and, a uh, wanderer. We love her. <laughs> Jen, Jen knows all about her. All right, that's what's up. Well, good, man. I mean, hey, look, life is is interesting at times. You know, it really is. Yeah. So. Things happen in interesting ways. So, all right. Well, where are you spending most of your time? Have you been in California? Have you been traveling? Like, what's? I've been. Uh, I've been traveling. I've I've been to in the last six months. I've probably been to ten countries. Um, oh wow. Okay. So it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on the move. And then, um, what's coming up? Oh, uh, uh, Stockholm, uh, Nordic Domain Days is coming up. Oh, okay. That's pretty soon. And of course, Austin, Names Con. I plan to go. Not lazy Good. like Josh. Well, Josh is just he's, he's busy, man. He's gonna I, be in the are I, you are you playing any pickleball when you're in the UK or is it just family stuff? Uh, I might with some of the European guys, but try traveling to the UK with a five year old, a four year old, and a three month old and tell me I'm lazy, Brand. <laughs> yeah, no. Pass. <laughs> pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> hard, hard pass. Yeah. So all right, well, cool, man. Well, look, I, you right, know, let me just respond like, to that, Josh. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Stockholm sounds like it's going to be interesting and Austin's going to be cool. So all good. All good stuff. Well, good, 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 man. So we will definitely make it happen when we see you. And uh, let's get that live Sherpa popping. And, uh, you know, obviously we'll talk more. There's, there's a decent amount of time between now and then. We're about two months away. But it'll be here before we know it. So, all right, cool. So continuing around the horn, Jen, what about you? What you got going on? What's new in your world? Aside from it being your birthday month and from being pretty busy with doing some deals and uh, some incredible deals, what else is good? <laughs> um, well, some of you know that I also have like interest in the health and wellness sector. Um, so I have a wellness venture that I that just went live. Um, only just recently it's called goodjourneying.com which by the way okay. is related to the phrase of fair farron fair farron yeah that's awesome. now you travel far under fair skies um yep, and even so, further yeah, down dark deep rabbit holes Let's that's go. right so it's um we um have launched a couple of like wellness retreats on byron bay um we're holding it at the venue that they filmed Nine Perfect Strangers with Nicole Kidman. Um, oh, okay. Which is kind of interesting for people if they're into that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's like rainforests and hiking and meditation and Qigong, Tai Chi, Whole Foods. We've got private chefs. Like it's so we've got all the best facilitators in Australia joining us. So I'm like, super excited about that so we're holding like two retreats this year in july and december um that's awesome. but that's kind of like that's my that's my sliding door part of my life that i guess the domain name industry may not be aware of um yeah, cool very cool yeah it just sounds so. awesome i would like that to be like my life you know what i'm saying like <laughs> hiking in rainforest eating whole foods just it's you know getting in tune good. with my chi you know what i'm saying it's, like it all sounds uh, pretty awesome it's so cool. Like every single person that that we've like experienced, like any of our, you know, wellness like experiences with like, yeah, it's just all about that, you know, transformation for people, like taking a minute out, like especially for people in our industry where we're 
oh my God, I'm going to, now I'm going to rant.com on this. But people in our industry, like we can get so caught up in like the digital devices, screen time, like that way of living, but you need to take a minute. You, you can burn out so easily. And, and I've experienced that like multiple times through my career doing this since 98. And I needed to figure out a way to find this like balance and to reset and to go, okay, wait, like <laughs> sitting in front of a screen is not necessarily the best thing for me today. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's important and I think that it will become – if any of you have got a finger on the pulse when it comes to well-being, wellness, even in our sector, like the domain names, and if you're watching some of these trends and some of these names that are selling, and I, I've seen even some of our closer people in our circles lately starting to sell wellness-related names for really good like numbers, and I think that's I've been harping on this for like two years since I've been on this show, <laughs> and I've been saying to people, Get into the wellness names. Keep searching the keywords. Keep searching the trending phrases because they do change. Um, but yeah, there's definitely like it's exploding at the moment yeah. from what I'm seeing. Josh, well, you know, so um, we so Josh Owen, real quick. Josh Showen uh, owns Nurture.com, which is pretty pretty sick wellness. I love yeah. that name. Love it. Well, so, you know, we did our show with uh, Donna and uh, Mar Mar Marcello, right? Um, yes. And uh, so one of the rabbit holes that we did was really talking about the, you know, the idea of wellness, you know, digital wellness. We spend so much time on the computer. Everybody's remote. We're Zooms. We're doing all the stuff. We're attached to our phones and our other devices. And it's, uh, you know, it takes its toll up, you know, and, and especially when you read what it does to kids. And you know, we're always trying to, you know, shepherd our children through these kinds of things. And Meanwhile, as you're talking about walking through rainforests and, you know, drinking the, you know, chai lattes and just vibing out and getting in touch with your inner self, Josh is like, I just want to have a night where I could sleep for more than four hours and don't have baby formula all over me, if that's cool with you. But like, you know, keep talking about, you know, like, I tell get me more that. About I get that. But we've, all, but, we've, <laughs> we've been there through our journeys as well. Like we've been covered. Of course, of course. Like, no, the, I'm just being, I, I'm just being funny about that. But <laughs> I, I think know. the, but the episode that we did and, you know, and really talking to Donna and Marcello who are, you know, literally like they are experts. This is, this is, they live this and, uh, you know, and they are, you know, so great about this stuff. And their site, just to give them a quick shout out, fitforlifemindbodysoul.com. And, uh, you know, to learn more about them and what they do. And, and you know, I know Donna's involved also in the good journeying and, and that kind of thing, you know, and stuff that you're doing there. And um, you mentioned about having the best facilitators, right? And you're in, like in Australia that are part of what you're yeah. doing. And, you know, and, um, but, uh, but you know, yeah, if I mean, you want to come and take, if you want to come and like, if you haven't done cold plunges before, like we've got a guy that's like trained with Wim Hof, like yeah. he's coming, you know, like we've got like Vedic, like meditation, like facilitators and coaches who have been doing it for 25 years who, I mean, and, and I've done all of these things. So for me, it's like second nature, but for other people, they might be like, oh, that's really woo woo. But I would challenge people to just say, give it a go. Just Come and experience it once and then tell me that you didn't get anything from it and I will give you your money back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it won't yeah. happen. <laughs> no, I think, look, I think it's awesome. And I think that's the thing. We lose a lot of like, you know, you try to figure out what your purpose is, right? We all do pretty well. We all have, you know, good, you know, for the most part, you know, our lives are in a, moving along in a pretty positive way, but you know, it's not always easy, you know, and you realize where some of our challenges come in and just where we spend our focus, you know, and I think that's a lot of it and mindfulness and, you know, everything down to, you know, your circadian rhythm. Like we've talked about these things, right. And just trying to map your, your sleeping to where, you know, in order to have your optimal health and, you know, I, look, I pay attention. I was on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was on the episode. Anyway, but check that and out if still, you haven't watched he's that. He's still smashing. He's still smashing like caffeine drinks like right now. Oh, and it's like 9, 10 what, p.m. I don't even know what you're talking about. What is this fat Gatorade fast switch? This stuff literally tastes like cough syrup. I don't even know. But um, anyway, anything to get the edge. But um, I just need to feel something. But no, I think it's amazing the stuff you're doing. And uh, so that's super, super cool. And uh, well, good for you. You know, I mean, I know, you know, business is going well. And these, but these are important pieces. It's important pieces of our whole overall thing. I mean, you know, as we constantly just try to figure out like what our journey is, good journeying. Love it. So, all right, dope. 
all right, Josh, it's on you. And then we'll, we'll let you go to bed. Um, he's like, I'm actually just going to close my eyes right now and not, not let anybody know that the show is done yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, think, I think you underestimate this fella because I think he is always there listening and he's taking it all in. And yeah, so I was Josh, um, authenticity, bring it, let's go. <laughs> I mean, so to, just to just to be honest, I am known as being a pretty quiet, but just quiet personality in general. So I have no problem keeping my thoughts to myself. But if you do want to hear them, you just tell me, and uh, I want to hear them, and I will, and I yes, will chat. go. But Sorry, in this particular case, I have nothing more to add to the conversation. I would like to uh, wrap it up here if we can. <laughs> yeah, no, again, I know it's late. It's late for you and you've got a lot going on. And also, too, you've done a lot in the past week just kind of telling your story, right? And what you're up to and everything that you've got going on. So for those of you who have not checked it out, check out the uh, the, the Grit episode. Is that out? Is it? You just recorded it. So is it out yet? No, yeah, I think they take they take a little while to produce it, and but the AMA is listenable or watchable. I know that if, yeah. if I think you might need to be an ICA member, another reason to go get your membership on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so you can check that out and uh, and see what Josh is going on. So, all right, well, look, guys, I think we have covered a lot of ground. I appreciate y'all, um, and uh, you know this was this was awesome. Braden, welcome back, Jen. It's been a minute, Josh. Not as long of a minute, but always appreciated, my dude. And to the audience, like I say, in every show without you, there is no us. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you guys got some value out of this show today. And, uh, you know, I would also advise you to check out the episode, the Down the Rabbit Hole, that we did on digital wellness, because I think that's a good primer for what Jen has going on. And, you know, I think there are some really interesting nuggets, and we have some fantastic people with, uh, you know, uh, Donna and Marcello on there that, you know, are absolutely worth listening to and hearing I need what to they've got to, to say that. about this. I will listen. It's to really that. enlightening. I'm going to on my way to Tampa tomorrow morning. I'm going to listen to that. Oh, dope, man! That's what's up. So it was. It was a great episode. You know, it was super like um, a lot of really just great nuggets about just you know some habits and things, which I think is super super important. So, and uh, and Braden, man, thank you. So um, all y'all, I uh, appreciate you guys. And, uh, and like I said, everybody else, we'll see you here next time on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Peace out, everybody. Y'all have a great one, and we'll see you next time.